Hello everyone. Hello beautiful people. I hope that everyone is fine even though we are amidst the pandemic. And I hope that you are all safe wherever you are. So for today, I'm going to share to you some of my thoughts and also some things that I have actually read from some sources about some ways of how Vietnamese students can learn to speak English fluently and, of course, confidently. As we all know, Vietnamese students wish they could speak English better the way that they read and write. As we all know, we just actually learned a lot of reading and writing when we were in our schools before. So talking to them, I found out that though their English is not the object actually of their achievement, but they wish to speak English and to be understood. So this prompted me to do this thing, okay? So I believe that uh, there are actually four ways, maybe even more. So the first thing that I have observed is that there should be a change from teaching to training. Meaning, firstly, schools must actually shift from delivering a lot of theoretical things to practical things. So it only means that we need to train the students rather than actually teaching them how to do it. So it's just that there's really a big difference between training them and teaching them. Okay, so from teaching to training, I think that is one way. Another thing is that students should make effort to speak English. Yes, I know that it will be hard for them, especially if they are beginners, or maybe shall we say that they don't even have the knowledge of the English language. But the fact there that they should really understand is they should try their best to speak out, okay? That is why the learning institutions and at the same time the government should actually also make effort and do most of the actions. Another thing is that, which is I think very important, students should overcome their fears. Another important aspect in learning the language is to have the courage to overcome the fear. It is useless being afraid to speak English because everyone understands it that you are not a native speaker, especially Vietnamese or maybe other countries who were not born actually to have the native language. So it is already understood that of course you will have a bad intonation or your pronunciation would be different, but you should make an effort to do so because the more you speak, the more you become better. Another thing is that we should also use English audio visual materials. Yes, what's the use of learning English if we are not using also English materials, right? Like studying vocabulary, studying the pronunciation, studying the intonation, of course using the English materials. As you know guys, all these will just be possible with professional guides and the right institutions. So to know how to recognize the right institution, I think you know where to go. So I'd like to introduce myself to everyone. I am teacher JM and I have been working here in La Pato Education for yeah, the past years. So I think that the institution has helped a lot of students, not only in improving their English skill, but also their lives. I have known a lot of students who have confessed that they have learned a lot here in La Plateau Education. 
So I hope that someday we can meet you here. Thank you so much. And once again, this is Teacher JM. And maybe I hope to see you someday here in Lablacar.